हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अप द टॉपिक स्टडी ऑफ कंपाउंड्स हाइड्रोजन क्लोराइड लेट अस स्टार्ट विद अ वेरी गुड थॉट सो यू कैन सी द टू डिफरेंस एस्पेक्ट व्हेन समबडी इज इंटरैक्टिंग विद यू सम टाइम यू रिएक्ट एंड सम टाइम यू रिस्पॉन्ड दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द रिएक्शन एंड द रिस्पॉन्ड व्हेन यू रिस्पॉन्ड द एनी प्रॉब्लम कैन वी कैन हैव अ सॉल्यूशन but when you react the problem will exceed to the level which may not be come under our control so try to respond so the topic here we are going to discuss is hydrogen chloride so learning outcome from this session is we will study about the lab preparation we will be able to tell the reactions for the preparation and the method and experiment which demonstrate the heavier nature of hcl gas as compared to air and the fountain experiment which demonstrates us the high solubility of hcl gas in water and the preparation of hydrochloric acid from hydrogen chloride gas and along with that we have to discuss the back suction and how to prevent that mechanism to prevent that back suction and uh, chemical reactions for hydrogen chloride as well as testing we are going to do further so now as for as brief introduction about hcl gas is concerned formula is i hydrogen chloride gas formula is hcl and the molecular weight is you know hydrogen is 1 chlorine 35.5 total we 36.5 u u means atomic mass unit and vapor density is molecular weight divided by 2 you can, you can remember the formula very very important in mole concept we will do more okay and hcl gas also known as muriatic acid and it occurs in free state in volcanic emissions and hcl gas acid sorry hcl aq whenever written there is acid and whenever g is written then gas hydrochloric acid is present in gastric juice of mammals which helps in digestion okay so now let us discuss the first topic that is lab preparation of hydrogen chloride gas so here we are react taking the reactant as sodium chloride to that is in the solution form along with that we are adding slowly concentrated sulfuric acid drop by drop so which which reaction and the heating is also required temperature is less than 200 degrees celsius and you will be getting sodium hydrogen sulfate which is an acid salt along with hcl gas which is heavier than air and upward displacement of air the method of collection of this gas so now you know that it is heavier so air is going to be out so how we can prove that hcl gas is heavier by taking a, a jar empty jar which is containing a burning candle and when you pour hcl gas what is going to happen is this candle will extinguish so it demonstrate that air is out and the hcl gas take the space of air so displacement of air takes place and this also signifies that hcl gas is neither combustible nor is support of combustion so now we are going to take up the fountain experiment fountain experiment is demonstrating us the high solubility of hydrogen chloride in water how this there you are seeing that in a trough containing this is a blue liquid solution and this is inverted funnel round bottom uh, flask so here the the tube is there which which uh, which can the solution can move red liquid uh, sorry blue liquid solution can move and this is a stopper here stopper is containing water when you press it the water will go in water is going in then what will happen because hcl gas is highly soluble in water what is going to happen is this water when enter into this round bottom flask so it will absorb hcl gas once this hcl gas will be absorbed what is going to happen vacuum will be created so if due to low pressure low vacuum uh, due to low pressure created what will going what is going to happen is this liquid solution that is known as blue liquid solution that will move up and then you know that blue liquid solution comes in contact with the hydrochloric hydrogen chloride gas it will turns red so this is experiment demonstrate the high solubility of hcl gas in water why this vacuum is created because of high solubility of hcl gas in water so this is the experiment and this experiment is also used in case of ammonia also only the difference will be in this case instead of blue liquid solution we will take red liquid solution and the color change will be red to blue that is only the case okay so now for example i want to prepare hydrochloric acid instead of from hcl gas so now what we are going to do is whatever we have in the first stage we have produce hcl gas and that hcl gas i am bringing here and i am bringing it contact with the water so now for example if it is only a tube only simple tube no funnel so what is going to happen is there is a chance that this water 
will go back into that reaction chamber okay and that may cause any accident there so to prevent that acceleration uh, pre prevent that accident this hcl gas you want to prepare hydrochloric acid by using inverted funnel arrangement this is inverted funnel arrangement now the choice is that this inverted funnel arrangement is should touch or dip the water this see the difference between the two diagram so what is the what is the level of water little bit little bit that space will be there for example what i want to say is hcl gas is available it will come down once hcl gas will comes in contact with moisture so that will absorb the water so here vacuum will be created if vacuum generation is more in this case it will be more so what is going to happen this water can enter into back and that will go back that's known as back section okay like it's, it is a similar saturation situation when you are drinking a coke bottle through straw so you are creating the vacuum in your mouth so coke is going from the bottle to mouth the so same manner here if vacuum is created so what is going to happen is the water will go back and go into the reaction chamber so to, to prevent that accident to prevent the back section we have provided the inverted funnel arrangement by little gap in the between the layer of water and the funnel so that if little water goes back also it will be retained here and then again vacuum will break so this is inverted funnel arrangement that is used to prevent the back section and it provide more surface area for absorption of hcl gas in water so now some of the reactions we are going to be, uh, take up is first is decomposition which is the first method of preparation of hcl gas we have already done displacement is metal plus acid give metal salt and hydrogen neutralization is acid plus base give rise to salt and uh, moreover d part is it is precipitation reaction let nitrate hcl give rise to pbcl2 and hcl3 please do remember that pbcl2 is soluble in hot water but insoluble in cold water which we have studied previously in the chapter number 3 acid base salt also so now here see the experiment is this reaction ammonia plus hcl give ammonia product that is dense white fumes here one one flask is containing ammonia one flask is containing hcl when you are pressurizing the gas will be coming out and once in com comes in contact it is creating dense white fumes this is the experiment so now reactions of dilute hydrochloric acid and hcl in detail we are going to do later metal plus acid which we previously we did to magnesium hcl the same thing magnesium plus hcl give rise to mgcl you can make iron also any of the element which is above the hydrogen by activity series can displace hydrogen okay neutralization base plus acid gives salt and water so here in this case salt water will not be there because if it could be ammonium hydroxide then water will be there okay neutralization then if it is zinc oxide zinc oxide you should be aware of that it's a amphoteric oxide which can act as acid as well as base but in this case it is base base plus acid gives rise to salt and water and decomposition of metal carbonate these are very easy and important reactions any carbonate when treated with acid gives rise to salt water and carbonate for example take the case of vino this is a component of vino sodium bicarbonate when you are adding acid or lemon water in that lemon you are adding what is going to happen so vapors are formed foam is there so foam is due to what carbon dioxide okay you know is there the foam is due to carbon dioxide now further reactions of dilute hydrochloric acid in case of sulfide previously we taken carbonate carbonate then we told carbon dioxide will come in sulfide will sulfur dioxide will come this is only the difference so if it is a sulfide salt sulfur dioxide and water will be coming along with salt Similarly, if you are taking sulfide, sulfide S, so H two S gas will come. Water will not come here. So this is having rotenite smell. This is having suffocating smell. Colorless suffocating. This is colorless rotenite. And precipitation reactions. You know that red nitrate plus HCl gives rise to PVCl2. That is a white PVT. And AgNO3 gives rise to AgCl white PVT. Please note that AgCl is insoluble in any mineral acid, but soluble in ammonium hydroxide solution. Okay. So next last reaction is Na2S2O3 plus HCl divided by NaCl water and SO2 and S. Please, this is a specific reaction. Why? Because here this is only reaction where four products are there. Normally we are not finding four products in the reaction. And you should know that SO2 gas is colorless suffocating. Sulfur is yellow solution is there. So yellow colorless solution. Okay. So these are some reactions of concentrated HCl with strong oxidizing agent. Which are the strong oxidizing agent here? MnO2. PbCO4, KmnO4. These three are strong oxidizing agents. Although these reactions are now removed from the syllabus, only 
MnO2 reaction is there that is there in the practical chemistry. So that's why I have taken here also. So MnO2 give rise to for SA give rise to MnCl2 blood trans chlorine. This uh, you can check always this reaction with the uh, in the chapter num uh, chapter 13 practical chemistry where the distinguish is there between MnO2 and Pb and, and CuO. Okay, both are black in nature. So the same way pb 3 r 4 give rise to PbCl2 water and chlorine. Chlorine is involved in all the three cases, which is a greenish yellow pungent gas which turns starch sided paper blue black. And now the aquaresia. Aquaresia is very important why because it is used to dissolve gold and platinum. And how it is dissolving gold and platinum is by reacting with nascent chlorine. How nascent chlorine is coming from this aquaresia? How? 3 volume of concentrated HCl, 3 and 1 volume of concentrated nitric acid give rise to nitrosyl chloride, water and nascent chlorine. This nascent chlorine is reacting with gold as well as platinum. Only thing is we need to remember is gold valency is 3, platinum valency is 4 here. So now this is very very important test of HCl gas or hydrochloric acid. So you know that blue litmus solution when treated with HCl gas or acid give rise to red. And similarly, pH indicator also red, methyl orange, orange to pink, rock flame, colorless to colorless, alkaline rock flame, pink to colorless, silver nitride give rise to cardiovite precipitate. Earlier, also I told you this cardiovite precipitate remains in soluble in mineral acid but soluble in ammonium hydroxide solution. Please do remember this thing. Ammonia solution plus HCl give rise to dense white fumes and the concentrated HCl reaction with any oxidizing agent like MnO2, PbCO4, PbO2, KmnO4 give rise to greenish yellow gas liberated which turns more starch generated paper with that. So next is some questions we are going to take up. So which gas produced dense white fumes with ammonia is you know hydrogen chloride gas. Identify the acid which mixes with the nitrous solution produces white precipitate which is soluble in excess ammonia hydroxide is hydrochloric acid. So next, this answer is flashed already. So this was the lab method of preparation reaction and this drying agent. Which drying agent you are using is concentrated sulfuric acid. Why it is used? Because it does not react with HCl gas. And the next reaction question is the following. It's a laboratory preparation. Safety precaution they are asking. Safety precaution we are using temperature should be less than 200. Then what will happen if temperature is greater than? If temperature is greater than 200 degrees Celsius, what will happen? Na2SO4 is formed, which is a hard sticky substance. If it stick to the glass, what is going? Overheating of the vessel takes place. Then what will happen? If overheating is there, there is a fuel wastage. That's one second. Second thing is that it may crack the apparatus, break the apparatus. So that's the reason that we need not maintain the temperature greater than 200. We should be kept at less than 200. Quicklime is not used to dry HCl gas. Why? Because quicklime is basic in nature or alkaline in nature. Alkaline, if it is there, then will react with acid. So to prevent that, so you are not using quicklime. So next is regarding to copper sulfide. Any sulfide is there when you treat with acid, H2S gas will be there. So observation will be colorless rotenite gas involved which turns moist lead acid paper black. Moist word is important. Two drops of blue hydrochloric acid added to silver nitrate followed by addition of ammonium hydroxide. This question is very very important. Please do remember that. Cardi white acid is formed which is soluble in ammonium hydroxide solution. Next, this is the lab preparation of HCl. Now you can see from this, this is the vessel where you are adding concentrated sulfuric acid. This sodium chloride solution is there. Then you pass this gas. This concentrated sulfuric acid is there to dry HCl gas. Now we have collected this gas. There empty, empty vessel is provided. Right? Because see, this back section can be prevented. In any case, this back section is not okay. Means that the inverted funnel is not able to prevent the back section. What is going to happen? The acid will go, the water will go back here into this. So to prevent that, it will be collected here. So this is extra safety arrangement provided by providing empty, empty flask. Okay. So now the point is uh, that the first question already we discussed here. Uh, second is why such arrangement is necessary? Inverted funnel arrangement is there to prevent the back section, to make hydrochloric acid and to prevent any accident. Accident prevention only the main function. Inverted funnel also provides more surface area for absorption. This is secondary. You have to write first to the it prevents the back section. Okay. So now this already is answer is given here. So two reactions we had right temperature less than 200 and greater than 200. Okay. So next is regarding to apparatus with the lab of HCl gas. How you find that whether it is full? 
full means if it is uh, to the brim what is going to happen it will try to overflow what you have to do is we can bring the rod in the only water side solution it will give transfer fumes if it is full if it is not full it will not give transfer fumes okay so this is the answer for that next this question is uh, same thing this is uh, solution concern this is a is concentrated of free gas and b is solid gas solution this is hcl gas Name the method of collection. Method of collection I already told you. Air is out, so displacement of air is there because what it tells it is the displacement, upward displacement of air, and what this method tells us it is heavier than the SCL gas is heavier than air. Name the two gases. Fountain experiment is ammonia and hydrogen chloride. What is the common property? High solubility of the gas in what ammonia or HCl. This is common property there. So two gases are only available, right? Which one is more dense? Of course, HCl is more dense. Upward displacement of air. Name one example of reaction between the two gases. Only one, right? Dense five fumes. So this is the eleventh question. These are the reaction. Displacement reaction. Iron plus HCl gives rise to iron chloride plus hydrogen. And if he is having two lens here, sodium atom is carbonate. You know, salt, water, and carbon dioxide. Iron sulfide, sulfide, and H2S gas. So if you see sodium sulfide, so same sulfur dioxide, water and salt. Sodium thiosulfate. This is the four reaction, four product reactions. NaCl, water, SO2, S. Sulfur is yellow color solution. Sulfur dioxide is colorless, suffocating gas. Now this question can be asked. You see carbonate salt, which gas will become carbon dioxide? Water is colorless. And waterless. Magnesium liquid with HCl, hydrogen gas will come. Order, waterless. Magnesium dioxide, or magnesium oxide for MnO2 will be there. Consider HCl will rise to which gas? Chlorine. Chlorine is color is greenish yellow and benzene gas. Okay, benzene. And sodium sulfide, you know, waterless gas. Order is waterless and HCl. So this way, so you can find the answers for these questions. Okay. Next is hydrochloric acid react with lead nitrate. Precipitation reaction, total displacement, high precipitate, manganese dioxide, and MnCl2 water and chlorine. So, name the two compounds whose aqueous solution gives white precipitate with dilute hydrochloric acid. The solution will be ammonium hydroxide and silver nitrate. Then the solution used to dissolve open battery is aqua ether. Three volume of concentrated acid and one volume of concentrated nitric acid. Give rise to this and chlorine. So, thought for the session again, the people is yes, we should respond, not react. Thank you.